Oh, here's a couple of questions where you're asked to uh, <coughs> transform a function. So this function here is, uh, let me use a different color, is f of x. And then they're saying, take that function and do this to it. Let me just rewrite that. So it's f, f of minus one half x. Okay, so this half and this minus, both of those are in conjunction are the b value. And the b value, uh, what it can do, it does two things. It'll either stretch or shrink horizontally. And then it'll also um, reflect on the uh, y-axis. Okay, so if I have something, a graph, say, like, I don't know, uh, shoot, like this. <laughs> this isn't a good example. It has to reflect across the y-axis. Say the y-axis is there. So I have to reflect it on the y-axis. So uh, the curly stuff would be on this side, and then the line would be on that side. Something like that. Um, but then also, this half... Uh, for the B value, the half makes it wider, and so it has to stretch. So for this one here, it has to reflect on the y-axis, and then it has to stretch. So if it reflects on the y-axis, um, let me just grab a copy of that. Okay, so reflect on the y-axis. So this stuff here will be on the other side something like that and this stuff will be on the right side so it goes up has a couple of dots and then comes back down so that is just the reflecting part that minus the half makes it spread out so instead of looking like that it's going to be more like this and then on this side and down so it'll be um, I shouldn't have made it. Th this height will stay the same. The height will be the same. It's just that it gets stretched out this way because of that half. Okay, that's one. Let's look at another one. So this one, so this is the graph of y equals f of x. So what they want to do is uh, create a new function called g of x, and they're doing transformations to it. So there's a minus, then f of minus x, plus 3. That's in an A spot. That's in a B spot. There's no C. This one is in a D spot. So um, uh, typically we start with the stuff in brackets. So that B is like the other one, so it has to reflect on the y-axis. So the normal graph I'll do in red. So this is... That's f of x. Blue... It has to reflect over this axis. So instead of going that way, this stuff will go this way. And on this side, it'll go that way. Okay, that takes care of that. Okay, and then let's do this one. So it's the minus, and that means it reflects on the x-axis. Let's do this one in green. So this is my x-axis. It has to reflect. So this blue one... Rather than going up, it's going to go down. And then instead of being down on this side, this will go up like that. It actually just, those two just sort of cancel each other out. So the graph is still going to look like this. But then there's a, the D value that says move up three. So every one of those points has to move up three. So that'll be there. Um... The zero, this one will be there. Uh, let's see. Up three. This one is down four. So it's going to be something like that. And then something like that. So the final graph is going to look like that one. Okay, hopefully that helps.